Hello, good evening. Hello, today is Friday. Today is Friday. <laughs> yes, it is. What, yeah, we finally made it, right, to the end of the week. How, yeah. are, how are you guys feeling about that? Woo, we made it. How do you guys feel? Fine, fine. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, Think, so, thinking, huh? thinking of beer with a, maybe after class. Sorry, could you repeat that? I am thinking of beer maybe after the class. Oh, okay, okay. To kind of relax. Yeah. Let's let all of the stress of the week go. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Welcome, Heidi, and welcome, Claudia, and welcome, Warner. How are you guys? Good, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that, Claudia. Are you, are you making pupusas today or not? Yes, every day. Every day you make pupusas? From, yes. from like Sunday to Monday? Yes. Wow. Or better say no, from no, no, al revés la cosa. <laughs> from Monday to Sunday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We um, want to try, we want to try the, the pupusas from Claudia. Yes, absolutely. Where, where do you live, Claudia? San Rafael Cedros. Where? San Rafael Cedros. San Rafael. Next to Cojutepeque. Oh, okay. No, that's too far from me. I can't. <laughs> Unfortunately. But yes, I would love to try them. Yes. How long have you been making pupusas? Claudia? I know. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How, have you been making pupusas for many years or months or what? For, for many years. Many years. Uh, okay. Wow. When I was when I was a child. Oh, okay, okay. So you have a lot of experience. So a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just yesterday, you know. Okay, well, but that's good. I'm glad that you have that experience. You know, many of us, we don't, we can't make pupusas. I know. <laughs> they, no. Right? It's a pending subject. For me, it's a pending subject. Yeah, yeah, I, I too. I, I have, and I have to learn. I have to learn to make pupusas because, uh, you know, if you go to another country, uh, people are going to expect that you know how to make pupusas. <laughs> Yes. Right? So they're going to say, oh, make some pupusas for me. Right? And if you don't know how to make pupusas, that's, uh, you know, a little bit embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I want to learn how to make pupusas, definitely. Yeah, so that, that's, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that, you, that um, you have that experience already. All right, guys. Um, how are you guys doing on this rainy day? Because rainy. all of this day has been super rainy. Mm -hmm. Like, well, at least where I am, it's been raining all day. And the worst part about it was that um, I, uh, you know, in the morning I had a, a doctor's appointment. So I had to go under the rain. And what's funny is that um, I don't even have a decent umbrella. Because, because the thing is, the thing is that um, it, like all the like I I am so bad at remembering umbrellas, so I take the umbrella with me, but it never comes back with me. So I've lost all my umbrellas, and today in the morning when I really needed it, there was no um, a decent umbrella to take with me. So it was. It was very, very um, embarrassing. 
Oh, and really, and really wet. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Any plans for the for the weekend? It yes, continues it raining, work, chocolate, work, and sleep. Work, work and work. Do you work, Jose? Yes, I work. Oh hey, why <laughs> mm, do you work, Sorry. Do you work uh, like the whole weekend or just some days? Yes. No, I work at the whole weekend. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But you have days off during the week. Yes, I take my days, days off yesterday and today at um, least they are together my friend because yeah. i had a time when they were separate ah, that was i hate that but it, that <laughs> that it was the, the schedule that it was available so i took it but in the next three months i was working hard wow yeah that's tough mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's really nasty yeah, no, I actually, I, I can't complain about my schedule. I have Monday to Friday. Friday. Nowadays, that is my schedule too. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's nice. <laughs> that's why I'm here, because I want to apply to another opportunity exactly. to get a better schedule. Yeah, you're absolutely awesome. right about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. And that's, and that's always good, guys, to remember um, the reason why you're doing things. Because I know that at some moment, uh, and, and I'm, I'm talking to everybody, like th this, at some moment in your life, you're going to be so frustrated with English. And you're going to want to say, you know, I quit. <laughs> you know, you're going to want to do that. But if you remember the reason why you started that in the first place, then um, you know it it becomes easier because if you remember like why did you start to begin with, then it's easier for you guys to um, um, to to do that to um, you know to continue uh, even if things get hard. Okay, mm -hmm. so always remember the reason you started, and mm -hmm. you know that's a very good reason, um, um, Jose. And 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 I think many of you probably have that same that same plan. Like um, you probably are either wanting to get a better job opportunity within your company, or maybe go to another country. Uh, sorry, another company and get, you know, maybe a better position. Year. A better position, mm -hmm. um, you know, with a better salary or better uh, work schedule, et cetera, et cetera, right? Or some people, I don't know, maybe you even want to, um, you know, move to another country. So always remember those kind of things. You know, when 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 the tough gets going, like just remember, like, and it will become easier for you. Yeah. Okay. So that's my suggestion, guys. Okay, well, uh, without further ado, do you guys know that expression? No. No, without further ado? The no. sound was breaking down. Oh, uh, I said without further ado. No, first time I heard. You never heard of that? Without further ado? Think Masca said? Yeah, uh huh, exactly. Um, or, yeah, or, or, um, like with, yeah, or without doing like, to do anything else, right? Um, so it, let's let's move on. To the rest of your day. Um, just give me one second, guys. All right, guys, so we are going to, we're going to be taking our attendance, um, and of course, <laughs> say my name, say my name. <laughs> Today I was in another INSA for curves, and you know what happened, because my name started with A, I had to be the first uh, making oh. it. Oh my God. <laughs> 
You may take my last name, I say. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and imagine if your last name would be Alvarenga. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, God, it's with G. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's fun. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start with um yes, with you, Ana Claudia. <laughs> Present teacher. All right. Okay. Um Andres. Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Claudia. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome. Edgar. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Urban. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Urban. Thank you. Heidi. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Heidi. Irene. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Irene. Ivan. Ivan. Not here, Ivan. Right. Oh, present teacher. Okay. Are you cold, Ivan? Yes, it's, it's snowing in my home. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Jose Montes? No, right? Okay. What about Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right. Welcome. Josue? Present teacher. All right, welcome. And Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, good. Um, okay, jury? Present teacher. Okay. All right, Luis? Present teacher. All right. Natalia? Natalia? No? Was Natalia here yesterday? No. No. She was not here yesterday? No. Okay. All right. Uh, Ronald? Present teacher. All right. Wendy? Present teacher. Great. Warner? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Warner. And Ivan? Present. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, thank you. Um, so we have we have everybody here now. Okay, good for you guys. Excellent. Um, I'm really happy to see everybody um, connecting on time, especially because I know that you know it's a Friday. It's a little difficult sometimes. Sometimes the traffic so the traffic is a little bit you know rough on a, on a Friday. And also because it's rainy, right? So, um, but I really appreciate you guys connecting. Remember that um, we have these are the last days of the uh, of the course. Uh, we are on day seventeen today, so you only have seven more days, basically. Let me see. Am I right about that? Yeah, seven more days, um, including, let's see, no, let's see, no, I think it's eight, hold on, <laughs> let me just make sure, 18, 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I'll say, eight, eight more days, okay, so you have eight more days of class, and um, some of you guys are a little bit low on the, um, on the attendance side, um, I'm I, I, like, I'm not going to share the attendance like with everybody, but if you guys want to know your percentage until this moment, like, or better said until yesterday, because today's uh, class will not be counted, right? But until yesterday, I can give you the percentage, but um, it has to be individual, okay? Um, so yeah, I, I see that in some cases, you guys are below the average. Basically eight classes um, and it's 4% per class. That's only 32% more that you can add maximum, right? So only 32%. So that means that you really need to work hard 
because like I said, some of you guys are, you know, on, on the low side. Um, yeah, I can see you guys are, are you know, see. Hay algunos de ustedes que literalmente se van a tener que con conectar desde principio a fin, o sea, la clase completa y todos los días sin faltar, ¿verdad? Así de que, um, uh -huh. eh, lo que puedo hacer es lo siguiente. Puedo mandarle como una notificación a aquellos que veo que están bajito. Y si usted quiere saber su nota exacta, eh, su, perdón, su porcentaje exacto, um, se lo puedo se lo puedo mandar. Se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp, pero O sea, no, no va a ser. O oh, bueno. No, yo creo que lo puedo hacer aquí, aquí mismo en el chat. Y después ustedes me escriben individual si ustedes quieren la, el, el porcentaje exacto. ¿Ok? ¿Any questions? No question. No? You sure? Yes, it's sure. more than sure. Okay. All right. So it's everything is clear for everybody. Um, okay. All right. So what we're going to do is start with our class for this. Um, oh, give me a moment. Okay, I'm going to share and please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint or not. But, um, chicos, el, o sea, les voy a mandar una notificación por el chat ahorita si están bajitos. Después de la clase les puedo mandar el porcentaje porque si, si me pongo a mandarles el porcentaje durante la clase, se nos uh, va a ir mucho tiempo. Entonces eh, lo haré después de la clase ya con más tranquilidad, eh, reviso y se los mando la información, ¿ok? No hay problema, Ticha, podemos esperar el porcentaje. Okay. Solo, como le digo, solo, solo para aclarar ese puntito, ¿ok? All right, it, let's continue. So let me see. Tell me if you can see it. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, no. yes teacher. Okay. Okay, so today we're looking at indirect questions, yes or no. Um, so your teacher is Jessica Guerrero, your facilitator, better said. And uh, it's the intermediate two, it's class number 17. Okay, and um, yesterday we were looking at this conversation. Do you guys remember? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is the following. Uh, we're gonna be checking the answers to these three questions. Um, that I asked you guys to do at the end of the class, right? So you were supposed to um, practice the conversation and also answer these questions. So first of all, let's start with the first one. It says, what are two reasons Diana and Tom mentioned to build a prototype of the accelerator? Huh? Anybody? Or should I choose? Lo hacemos dedo prácticamente. Because we'll help uh, the manufacturers to be very accurate with the design. Good. Okay. That is one. Good. Okay. Um, so uh, we want to make sure. Um, yeah. So they, that there's uh, an accuracy in what the, what 
the design is what, what the design is and and that it's done the way that the design is supposed mm -hmm. to be. okay what's another reason we ensure that the communication is clear that is what i think is um no you're talking about the first question, teacher. Yeah, first question. Okay, the first question is because they want to avoid any uh, inconvenience with the prototype and because they say that, so they build a good prototype to help us to spot any flag we haven't identified in the design. Exactly, very good. Um, so one reason is to identify flaws. Right. Mm -hmm. Spot, spot um, any flaws that they haven't identified with the design. And the other reason is what we talked about before that it will ensure communication is clear that the manufacturers, when it says they were talking about the manufacturers, will know exactly what they want. Okay. Okay. So the two reasons. Okay. Next, um, let's go to the next question. What are the distinctive features of the new product? What are the distinctive features? Do you guys understand features? Yeah? Features or characteristics, let's say. Characteristics. Yeah. The frame and the cell? The what? No. The frame is one of those? Okay, yes, the frame. What else? I don't know how you remember. Saddle? How do you remember? The saddle, very good. The, 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 the design of the handlebars. Very good. Mm -hmm. The frame, the saddle, and the design of the handlebars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it's the design of the handlebars, the design of the frame, and the design of the saddle. Okay? All right, good. And what two tasks will Diana and Tom do before ordering the prototype to Steel Masters? Um, sketch the part. Okay, good. And let's start with the description and the specification of each. Good. This, okay, so the other one is, so first is to sketch the parts, then start with the description and specifications of each. Okay, there you go. Those are your answers. Okay, any questions about vocabulary from this article, uh, sorry, this conversation? I see masters. Oh, that's the name of the product. Let's say. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. The, sorry, the pro no, the sorry, the company. The company um, that is the, like the manufacturer. Mm. Mm. And oh, oh. it's not a profession. No, no. The name of the company. The name of the company. Um, and steel is referring to like the type of material, right? So it's like a metal material. It's very, very strong, right? Or the hierro. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But it's, yeah, it's just like the name. El amo del acero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. That's why the the toy is called the steel mastery. Mm -hmm. The toy for boys, uh, there are a, a toy that the name of the toy is a steel mastery. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. I see the word saddle and stretch. And spot and handlebars. 
and blah. Mm. Let me see, I think that's it. May. Law, settle, cash, both. I might. Is that it? Did I miss anything? Okay, yeah, is that it? Okay, so the, ex okay, so the first one is spot. When you say to spot, it means to detect. It, I mean, as the verb, to spot. To spot, if you spot something, it means that you detect it. You're like, ah, ha. Yeah? Does that make sense? Like, or, yes. or identify, let's say. That's another word that we can say, to identify. Okay? Flaw is um, like uh, in an, an imperfection, an imperfection, okay? So something that is not good, right? Something that is, it's, it's um, yeah, something that is, is, is made incorrectly. Accurate is something that is precise precise. And if you're wondering what precise is, um, I will write it in the chat and you'll, I'm sure you will be able to, to figure out what it is from by writing the chat. Okay, precise. Okay, so something that is precise or exact. Okay, that's another word, precise, exact. Exact. Okay, that's accurate. Handle. Hey, hey, hey. Uh huh. Besides of black, we can use like mistake. Uh huh. Yeah, mistake. Yeah, error. Mm -hmm. error. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, handlebar. Handlebars are. A, a piece of bar or a metal part, usually metal part, that we use to, to be able to hold on to something. Like in the case of a, um, well, I, I'm not sure exactly what the accelerator is, but it sounds to me, from what I can understand, it sounds to me like it's a sort of like an exercise machine. I don't know. This, I don't know if it if 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 it's just, if it sounds the same to you, but to me it sounds like it's an exercise machine because of the characteristics that it has and the fact that they're going to be using the steel masters. So it means it's probably going to be something. It's a, going to be a machine that is very. It's very um, a strong machine, very sturdy. So the word handlebar is like a bar or, or a rail that you can hold on to, like similar to a bicycle. Think about a bicycle, right? How do you, where do you put your hands in a bicycle? You put them on the handlebars. Handlebars. Like, yeah. Some elevators have, uh, has, no, some elevators have handlebars. Yeah, some ha elevators have handlebars too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so handlebar is basically any railing that you can put your hands on to grab. Okay. Like the one in the buses? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so anything that you use like a like a bar to hold on to so that you don't fall, basically. Similar uh the straights. Well the straights has uh handlebars on the uh, the what? This 
straight. The straight. Yeah, the straight has uh, some of the straight has a handlebars. What do you mean by straight? Yes. The escalera. Oh, the uh -huh. stairs. Stairs. The stairs. Yes. <laughs> Yes, the stairs, uh, the but stairs. that's actually a hand railing. We call that a hand railing, okay? Um, yeah, so that's that's a little different, hand railing. Um, handlebar is something that you use to hold on to, a, like mostly like a machine or something like that, okay? So where you can, where you can put your hands so that you don't fall off, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. Uh, and the other word is saddle. Saddle, and this is this is the reason why I think it's like a bicycle, because a saddle is what is um is the thing that you sit on. For example, um, a, a horse, right? A horse you put a saddle on the horse to be able to sit on it, right? So it's like the thing that you use to sit on, okay? That's a saddle, yeah? So it's like, la siento, mm -hmm. right? But, but not any asiento, it's, it's, a, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a seat where you have to literally do this, right? That's that's a saddle. Like they used to, I don't know how how we can say that, but the, with the horses, we use uh, you the use saddle, saddle, right? That's right. With horses, you use saddles. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you have to, and and the uh, there's actually a verb that's to saddle something, right? Uh, okay, mm -hmm. um, so. Oh, montar, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, and so that's why I said, I, that's why I believe it's like an exercise machine because from all those description, it sounds to me like it's some sort of like, probably like a, a kind of like bicycle exercise machine. That's what it sounds like to me. So the accelerator and and the and the name tells you as well accelerator so they're referring to to accelerate probably your heart rhythm mm -hmm. that's what it sounds like to me at least i don't know okay and then we have the word sketch a sketch is a drawing a drawing i'll write it on the on chat drawing a drawing um mm -hmm of um of a plan right that's a sketch a drawing of a plan okay like a plotter like a what a plotter plotter i've never heard of what is a plotter i guess that is the machine it that copies machine. The, the, mm -hmm. the the plans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is not the sketch is the like design drawing itself. Uh -huh. The sketch is like design. The drawing, the how do you say the, the drawing? The, the drawing, 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 drawing. Oh. How do you uh, say sketch in Spanish? Yo siempre lo usaba como sketch, una cosa que dibuja antes de. Bosquejo. Ah, bosquejo. Ah, bosquejo. Mm. Plano. Uh -huh. Es que es antes del plano, el sketch es antes del plano. Pero sí. Aunque sí, para un plotter, algo así. No sé, si, no sé si yo estoy equivocada porque, remember, um, um, remember that, you know, Spanish is not my first language, pero no, uh, no sé si estoy equivocada. Solo, va, pero... Emma. Uh, acá, pero no, pues entonces sí estaba equivocada. Ah, no, quiero ver, no, 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 puede ser que no. Estoy. Oh, no, 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 sí, está, no estaba bien. Ah, pues sí. I do know in Spanish. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Um, no, I was thinking of the word boceto. 
boceto. Uh -huh. mm. Uh -huh. no, estaba, sí. no estaba segura si, 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 si el boceto era lo que yo pensaba, pero sí. sí es, pero es, ajá, antes de cualquier dibujo. Yo cuando dibujaba planos antes, el sketch era antes del plano. Es como se va a hacer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. So it's like a drawing of the idea of the plan. Uh -huh. Okay. It's, uh -huh. it's not a final draft. Uh -uh. Okay. A final draft is like la, 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 ¿cuál es la palabra de final draft? Um, el diseño final. El fin, ajá, el diseño final. It's not the final draft. It's just like an idea of what you have. Okay? El manchote. Ajá, uh -huh. el manchote. Pero claro, un poquito más, más sofisticado. Teacher, <laughs> you said the final It's draft. Like just... uh -huh. What? What? Mm -hmm. Bozo. Boceto. Ajá, un boceto. Es bozo, bosquejo, boceto. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh, exactly. Very good. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I'm sorry, just teacher, I I didn't hear if you say it's not the final draw or the final draft. Draft. Ajá, uh -huh, D-R-A-F-T. I saw that word. Draft. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, but draft. Eh. Draft. A draft. Okay. I saw that in, in an order. It's in the almost when it's before to complete the order, it says draft. So it's like uh, order. Yes, when I place in orders, it says oh. it's, mm -hmm. mm. that is what bring my attention. Oh. The usage of the word. I don't know. I don't know what it refers to, but if I'm not mistaken, for example, in the emails, mm -hmm. uh, you will have a uh, you will have a section that says draft, and mm -hmm. that section is what you guys know in Spanish as borradores, right? So this kind of like um, like the idea as well, um, but final draft is like okay, mm -hmm. this is like it. This is, I, I like I've changed it many times, and now I'm satisfied with it. Let's review it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Might is a, a auxiliary verb, which um, indicates a possibility. Okay. It's kind of like saying maybe or perhaps. Okay. So that's might. Maybe, perhaps. But it's a it's an auxiliary. It's a it's a modal auxiliary. It's like to uh, perhaps and maybe. Yeah, perhaps or maybe. Okay. But like I said, it's a modal auxiliary, so we always put it before a verb. In this case, the verb is want. Okay, and still masters. I already told you guys was just the name, so that's name of the company okay so that's it any other questions that you guys have no okay great okay i'm going to stop sharing for a moment oh no 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 sorry sorry yeah i know you still see i assume so okay i'm going to stop sharing for a moment because we're going to do um we're going to do an activity in which, and you have to listen carefully to the, the instructions so that I don't have to uh, be repeating so many times. I will repeat it if, I, if, if you need it, but I need everybody to pay attention very carefully so it's pretty clear, um, you know, the first few times. Okay, so I'm going to be sending you a vocabulary word. Okay, and I'm going to be sending you individually the vocabulary word. I'll send it to you guys through this chat. Okay, and what you're going to do is the following. You can look up the word, um, you can investigate the word, um, you know, on the internet or on, or, um, you know, with a dictionary, whatever you want. 
and then what you're going to do is you're I'm going um, you're going to uh, tell the class a definition of the word. Now, the definition of the word can either be true or false. So in other words, you can decide if you want to give the real definition of the word or you want to create another definition that is like just invented, okay? Now, what we're gonna do as a class is we're gonna be listening to your definition and then we're going to decide if your definition is true or false. Does that make sense for everybody? <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So like I said, you can look it up on the internet. If you can't find it, it doesn't matter because in the end, <laughs> it, you know, you can make up the, the definition. The only thing I'm gonna ask is if you make up the definition, make it, make it, um, a logical definition, make it like that it like it makes sense so that people don't guess that it's that it's the wrong definition. O sea, lo que queremos es como 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 hacerlo un, un reto, verdad? Para que para que todos digan, ah, puede ser o no puede ser, verdad? No queremos darle una una un a una definición que, que no es posible, ¿verdad? Porque, o, o que es muy, muy, muy fácil, ¿verdad? Porque si no, entonces no va a tener mucho chiste, ¿verdad? La, la actividad. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Do you have any questions? Or is it pretty clear what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. So here we go. Like I said, um, I'm going to be giving, I'm going to be sending um, different people um, the vocabulary, but not all of you are going to have um, a vocabulary word because mm, there's not enough for everybody to have one. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna choose, um, pick and choose different people, okay? Um, okay, so give me a moment. Ya empecé a a mandar, así es que se le llega uno. If it's not clear for uh, for anybody, just let me know, okay? Like I said, you can look for the definition or or just make it up, whatever you prefer. Some words may be a little bit common for you. Some words may not. Whatever your word is, just, you know, make sure that if you're going to make it up, be creative. Mm.
Sí, por, por, por uh, equivocación le doy a alguien dos, solo déjeme saber. Creo que no, pero. Just in case. Okay, creo que ya estuvo. So if you if you got one, great. If um, you didn't get one for next time, I think we'll, we'll give you one. Let me just make sure that I have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, yeah, I got all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two minutes to look it up, get a definition, decide if you're going to say that definition or another definition. Okay, so it's up to you. I don't have anything. Okay, like I said, some people may not have it. It's just that I don't have enough for everybody because there are not that many words. Okay, so okay. you'll just have to, we'll, we'll do it for next time, okay? So if you if you didn't get one today, you'll get one another day. Okay, so just I'll give you a little bit of time. If you guys have any questions about the definition, you're not sure about it, you can write to me um, in the chat. Okay, are you guys ready or do you need more time? Ready? Teacher, you send the words in WhatsApp or in the chat because I don't have the word. Like I said, maybe some of you may not have a word because um, there was not enough words for everybody. Um, so not everybody got a, a word. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah. So right now I have 18 of you. Oh, no, sorry, 17. 17 of you and I only had 11 words. So that means that um, six people did, did not get a word today, but you will get a word next time. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mama, I understand. Mama, Mama. All right. Are we ready? Who needs more time? No? We need more time, teacher. Any more time? Okay. I don't have a word, teacher. What's a little joke, teacher? No, si Jose, I, I don't have any words. <laughs> no tiene palabra. Uh, you're pulling my hair. <laughs> you're pulling my hair. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you guys know that expression? To pull someone's yeah. hair? Me tomaste el pelo. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to start. Um, and I'm going to start actually with like in the order that I, I sent them. Okay. So the first person that I sent the, um, the word to was, let me see. Okay. Uh, Andres. Okay. The word that you sent to me is labeling. I don't know if that the correct pronunciation. Yes, that's correct. Yes, labeling. Just don't, yeah. just so, guys, don't make, just make sure that you don't say, I'm not sure if this is the correct um, definition. <laughs> <laughs> Then you're no. gonna give it away, but but yes, the pronunciation is correct. Yes. Okay. And the meaning, the concept is a liquid that is put on surface to give them a particular color. A layer of this liquid when it has dried on a surface. What do you guys think? What is the word you uh, say? What is the word, teacher? I'll write in the chat for everybody. Labeling. No, it's not the, that the meaning, I guess. In, 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 and don't cheat, die, guys, don't cheat. No se me vayan a, a Google y empiezan a buscar la palabra. No. <laughs> okay. You say it's like a liquid, right? It's a liquid that is put on surface to give them a particular color. Particular? Color. Particular huh. label. Uh, teacher, uh -huh. label is like the sticker that you use uh -huh. to ship uh, whatever uh, is whatever I thought. <laughs> I don't know. Andres is the, the expert right now, so I don't know. Okay. The labeling, I guess that is the action that when you, uh, when you how, do you, how do you say, when you paste this, the label, Okay, so do you think it's right or do you think it's wrong? Is the definition labor is used to organize? Aha, as I Jose says, uh, you know, label is to I make the put the name. Years. Aha, aha, uh -huh. so but labeling, I guess, that is the, the action. What do you think, Andres? Maybe uh, could be a rotulation or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, I think it depends on the quantity. Of the... What, what is a rotulation? Label, rotulation? Labeling, put a, an, a label. Is, a label. <laughs> <Sticker>. <laughs> the action. Yeah. The sticker. Okay, okay. All right, to put a sticker, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So labeling is the action, I guess. So is it? So do you agree or do you disagree with the definition? Do you think I disagree right? with with the one I just gave? Okay. ¿Qué dice los demás? ¿Qué dice, qué dice el público? <laughs> uh, I, I think I it's agree. wrong. I agree with Andres. You agree with Andres. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, Andres, tell us. Were you right? Were Were you telling us the right definition or no? No, teacher. The, the definition that I say is for paint. 
Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Can you tell us the correct definition? Lo encontré como etiquetado uh -huh. o rotulación. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yeah, so labeling is, uh, yes, just like um, Jose mentioned before, it's the action of putting a label. And a label is, yes, like a sticker that says a certain information about a product, right? Um, that gives you information about maybe where it's made, maybe information about, um, you know, uh, you know, what it's made of, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that's, the, that's a label. Okay, so it gives us information about the product. Okay, like, like to give an example, um, let's say uh, medication, okay? Uh, let's say there's a bottle of medication, just the bottle itself, if you put a bunch of pills in there, people won't know what it is. What, what am I, what am I, taking what kind of pills am I taking so we need to have a label that says the name of the medicine and uh, you know the doses of the medicine and any like indicate like um, any instructions on how to use it etc cetera, etc cetera. the the what's it called the ingredients and things like that that's a label and labeling is the act the action of putting that sticker okay okay all right very good Let's move on to the next person is, quiero ver, quiero ver. Um, Yvonne. Okay. Um, I have the definition for quality control. Quality control is the set of actions and tools carried out to detect the presence of errors. The main function of quality control is to reject the largest quantity of product. Okay. What do you guys say? Quality think? control. Quality control was quality control, say, right? Yeah, quality control. It's okay. Me too. Me, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. You all agree? I, I think you, that the uh, quality, wait. I think the quality you, control is the main function is not react. Is make sure that the quality of the product is 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 as the manufacturer said, right? Can you read again, please? Uh, okay. Quality control is that set of actions and tools carried out to detect the presence of errors. The main function of quality control is to reject the largest quantity of product. I agree. Because it's the main function. Yes, we do it. it's, no, it's not the main function. Reject. I guess that there is not the... the the quality con for me, the quality control defined, they look for a uh, damaged product. It is so that the, reason they reject. Mm -hmm. No, it's, well, it's it's not, not, with the last sentence that she said, <laughs> could you read only the last sentence that you say, Suleyma, please? The last sentence is the main function of quality control is to reject the largest quantity of product. Uh, I think it's made sure that the quality of the products is agree with is, that. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so so we disagree with uh with that definition. I, I, I agree with the last sentence. I disagree. The last part. Or the last sentence. The last part. Yeah. yeah, I disagree too. Okay. All right, Yvonne, tell us, were you telling us the right definition or not? Uh, partially. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Half and a half. <laughs> okay, so she tricked yes. us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why partially? Okay, the, the definition of quality control is correct. Quality control is the set of actions and tools carried out to detect the presence of errors. But 
The main function of quality control is to ensure that the products and service meet the minimum quality requirements. Okay, so the definition then was not correct, right? Because, yeah. yeah, okay, all right. So you guys were right, it was not correct. Very good, excellent, all right, thank you guys. <laughs> all right, um, okay, um, let me see. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just sending you guys the words. Um, all right, so the next one we have uh, Claudia. Okay. Mix is like to go by electronic combine, combining of a using sound from more than one source. Can you repeat again, please? Yes, please. Mix is like to close, close, close by electronic, electronic from the combining of a using sound from more than one source. I don't know. The last part they sound like correct is because uh -huh. it's uh, mixing different yeah, sources. Mixing for mixing. Yes, but it, 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 she's talking about different parts, uh, different sources. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Next is about an electronic, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess that. Can you read for the last time, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the growth by the electronic, electronic, electronically combining of adjusting sound from more than one source. Yes, for me it's correct. Yes, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the others? Because I I'm here about three people that are giving opinions, but I don't know what what about the other people. I don't know if you agree with it, you disagree with it. Like this is remember, this is the whole class, so everybody should be participating. At least. Can you read again, please, Claudia? Yes, I agree, <laughs> teacher, with Claudia. <laughs> I have I I have other concepts if you don't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two or more different qualities, thing or people, place, homage or consider together. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. So, what's the consensus? Do we agree with it? We don't agree with it? I agree. I agree, teacher. I agree, teacher. You agree? Yes. Okay. Yes? Okay. All right. So tell us, Claudia. It's, it's what? Mix. Uh -huh, but but was was it correct? Your definition? You are correct. Sorry? The two definition is correct. It's like it grows a song recording by electronic electronically combining of a using sound from more than one source. Okay, so was it correct what you said or no? It's correct. It's correct, okay, there you go. Okay, so yes, um, so when we are talking about, um, you know, in a factory mixing something, yes, it's going to be um, something that is going to be probably electronically, right? Because you're gonna have these big machines and um, you don't want to have like human hands mixing because otherwise, um, 
you know, you, you may not mix it correctly, right? So it's like, yes, so you have to put, uh, you combine different things, okay? All right, very good, thank you. All right, next we have, get a bit, get a bit, Heidi. Actually, Heidi? I guess that is having an implementation. Yeah. She's frozen. Yeah, she's frozen. You're right. Okay. Um, well, anyways, I was going to tell Heidi that um, to stop for a moment because we're going to be taking the attack. Okay, so. Um, she's back. Ah, yay. Okay. All right. Heidi, just give us a second. We're going to take attendance, okay? Um, okay, guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Claudia? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Irvin? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Natalia. Uh, Ronald? Present teacher. Wendy? Present. Warner? Present teacher. And Yvonne? Present. All right, wonderful. Okay. Present let's... teacher, don't forget me. ¿Quién me dijo eso? Me, Luis. Present. Oh, no, no, dije, no dije su nombre, Luis. I know. So sorry, Luis. Okay, where are you? Quiero ver. Okay. Don't worry. Please? Present teacher. Yay, okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so we're gonna continue. So Heidi, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go for it. You gave me the hard one. <laughs> okay, the word is tapping. <laughs> Capping and a solid crust like layer that forms on the surface of compacted soil, often caused by heavy rain. Word is capping. Repeat. Okay. The word capping. A solid crust like layer that forms on the surface of compacted soil, often caused by heavy rain. Capping is the word. Mm -hmm. Yes. I told you it was the hard one. <laughs> no, don't cheat. Don't go and look for it on, on the internet. <laughs> They will find several, believe me. <laughs> uh huh. But I, I want to hear people that have not participated because I keep on hearing the same people. So I want, it's not that difficult. You can, you own, isn't, you all, all you have to say is, <laughs> I think it's incorrect or I agree. So, you, that's easy. You can open up your microphone and tell me that. But I, I want you to you repeat, that. please? Sure. A solid crust like layer that forms on the surface of compacted soil often caused, often caused by heavy rain. What is the word? Capping. What is the word? Capping. Mm. Capping with C. So 
what do you guys think? I agree. You agree? I agree too. Me too. Okay. How about the others? I agree too. You agree as well? Heidi, can, can you repeat for the last time, please? Sure. A solid crust, like a layer that forms on the surface of compacted soil, often caused by heavy rain. And another meaning of capping, as you said, is, is a, 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 no an action, because capping could be an action too, right? Could be a? Action. Action to, to, to put a cap on something like that. Or some, for example, put a cap on a, on a bottle, you are capping a bottle. Or no? Or I lost. I guess. <laughs> Maybe we said do. So do you agree? Uh, okay. So, so the que the thing is not how many how many um, definitions could there be. The question is is what Heidi is saying true or false. So do you agree with her definition? Even though there may be another definition, but do you agree with it? Yes, I agree. You agree? Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm, me too. Me too. Okay. What about the others? Oiga, algunos que están bien calladitos. <laughs> Point to them. <laughs> Make them to speak. Ni siquiera han abierto su, su micrófono. Make them to speak. Make them to talk. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it democráticamente. Say the name. Go ahead. <laughs> They're going Say to eat me. Go ahead. Yes, ya veo que is if, if she was the teacher, uh oh. Doing teacher, doing. I'm just joking. So, um, get it. So, tell me, guys, Urban, what do you think? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Good, okay. Welcome, welcome. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now Irvin, tell me what do you think about what we just discussed right now? I am agree. You agree? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Okay, so it sounds to me that most people agree. So let's talk about that, Heidi. Is that right? Was your definition correct? The definition is right, teacher, but I found a lot of usage of that word. I know, I know. Yes, but you are right. You're absolutely right. And who said about the, the putting putting a cap on the bottle? Me, teacher. Oh, yeah. Okay. But Ronald, you're right as well. Yes, you're, you're right. It can, be, it can be that. Okay. So, yes, there are many definitions of that, but yes, um, one of the definitions that is possible is the one that Heidi said, okay? So I'm, okay, so that's, um, okay, that's this word. Um, okay, and the next word is uh, Ivan. The word is filter. And the definition is a porous material through which a liquid or gas is passed in order to separate the fluid from suspended particulate matter. It's correct. Filter, right? Filter, yes. For me, it's correct. Yeah, I agree too. So. 
Mm -hmm. And the others? I agree, teacher. You agree? Okay. You can I use the, the comoding or the call form or 50 50. Okay. Edgar, what do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Edgar? Um, yeah, teacher. What do you agree or you disagree? It's, it's agree. Yeah. Sorry, you, you agree or you, you disagree? It's, it's agree. You agree? Okay. Yeah, agree. Okay. Okay. And so it sounds to me like most people agree. Mm -hmm. And so tell us is this right or wrong? Uh, if the answer is right. Yeah, that's right, it's right. Very good, oh, <clears throat> excellent. Thank you very much, Ivan. And the next word, it comes from Ronald. You say my name, teacher? I did. Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> So the, the, the word is packing. Packing is the name of a product that is used to seal in order to avoid a, a, le a leak from any li liquid. What is the Can word? Disagree. Can you repeat, please? What is the definition? I disagree too. Packing, right? Yeah, packing. I disagree. Disagree. Yeah, agree. Disagree. Okay. Um, so Ronald, wait, was it right or was it wrong? Is is right, but the common definition is a material such as, as a covering or, or a stuffing used to protect packet good as a chipping or as a package a food. But both are right. Ah, okay, okay. So, so sometimes um, and and you're right, Ronald. Sometimes we have like a common definition. And then there's one that maybe is right, but it's not very common for more people. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Everybody understands the word? Yes. Becky. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if you guys, uh, if at any moment you guys want to, um, to get a repetition of the, of the meaning, you guys can. Uh, to yes, make please repeat it. Can you repeat okay. that, Ronald? Okay. It's a material such, such as a covering or a stuffing. Use it to protect package wood as it's used for chipping material or for covering a food. Teacher, but yeah. that is the, the noun. Or yes. packing. Yeah. And packing is the verb, right? Well, no. Uh, well, yeah. Yes and no. Um, you can use packing as a verb and you mm -hmm. can use it as a noun. Um, so we can say, he is packing, for example. Mm -hmm. And you can also say the packing in this, um, <sighs> in this product uh, is very safe. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, to can me now. it can be both. Mm, okay. Okay. All right, very good. Um, thank you very much, Ronald. Uh, next is Josue. Okay. The word is weld. Um, the meeting is to unit metallic parts by heating and allowing the metal to flow together 
of by armoring or compressing with or without previous heating to unique plastic and wood in a similar manner by heating. What is the word? Weld. 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 Weld or melt? Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Well. So the word is in the chat, but don't look it up. Okay. Yeah. It's to unit material, uh, like a metal, uh, plastic, and wood by heating. Yeah. Or to unite. Yeah, it unite. sounds it's like it's correct. Yeah, I agree, I agree with you. To join, maybe. Join, mm -hmm. that's another word for it. To well. Mm -hmm. Repeat again, please. Okay. To unite metal parts by heating, to allowing the metal to flow together by arming or compressing with or without previous heating to unite plastic or wood in a similar manner by heating. Mm, I not agree. I disagree because say wood, you can, can and plastic. I disagree. Okay, so you guys- You mentioned wood? Yeah. Okay, that cannot be will. I agree, teacher. You agree with you agree with Jose, or you disagree with him? I agree, I agree but half and a half. For the rule. For the rule. It's yes, but not yes. <laughs> So is it is it true or it's it yes, false? but then like oh. <laughs> so is it true or is it false? Mm. For me, it's false. false. Mm. Okay. Osway. It's true because mm -hmm. it's not by heating. You can use compressing. Oh. Okay, so that's for the reason you. You can uh, solve uh, wood mm. by compressing. Oh. Okay, that that's actually new for me. I thought welding was only with with heat. No. Oh, okay. All right. So, how do we say thank you very much, Josue? Um, so, how do we say weld to weld in 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 Spanish? Soldar. Soldar. Ah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So apparently I just learned something new. I, I always thought that welding was with heat, but I guess you can do it some other way as well. So you do you can you say you can do it by by pressing. Yeah? Compressing or friction. Ah, oh, okay. Sounds good. Okay, good. All right, thank you. Um, okay, we're gonna move on to the next person. Mm. Okay, Ana Claudia. Okay. Uh, the word is to screw and is uh, to cause or to separate into parts or groups. I agree. To screw is to cause or separate into parts or groups. Oh. Jose says true. Oh. How do you spell it, please? I, I, I wrote it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Give screw. It screw. Yeah. Screw. Screw. Yeah. Uh, that when you say you screw it up. Mm. Okay, there, yes, there are many meanings of this word. Mm. Probably, Anna Claude, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, 
So, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, re can you repeat again? Can hmm? you repeat again, please? Ah, of course. Um, is um, why to Good cause word. to separate into parts or groups? To cause to separate mm -hmm. into parts or groups. <laughs> I disagree. Yes. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> I think they need I, I think they needed the visual part. That's great. <laughs> yes. I'm going to tell you the <laughs> Okay. So okay. Anatolia? Yes. Is the act of huh? No, that was false because to screw is the act of twisting or turning done to fasten or tighten something and to you screw the the screw. So you oh. <laughs> mm, okay. to screw. Okay. So it, it's the opposite. It right? to the world. And I say the opposite to divide. Exactly. For that exactly. reason is to separate, I say. Exactly. <laughs> and whereas screw is just the opposite. You are exactly. connecting, joining, uniting two parts, mm -hmm. right? With yes. a screw. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. All right. Sure, but when you say this expression, you screw it up, it's like, like if you ruin the thing, right? right? Yes. Uh, like the, that's why I said it has many different meanings, mm -hmm. right? There are many different meanings. And one of the meanings that you said, Heidi, is colloquially, we say to screw something up. But mm -hmm. that's very colloquial. You would not use it in a formal writing or formal conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and it means basically, it's like when you say in Spanish, um, la regué. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it means, right? So obviously you're not, you're going to use it colloquially. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and there are other meanings too, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> No, okay. and yes, I saw them. Get into that. Yes. Yeah, and I okay. was what new for me. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Um. Quiero ver, quiero ver who, who's next. Um. Um. Irene. Okay. Good evening. I'm going to talk about uh, about to adjust. This is a verb, and this action to change something, especially to make it more correct or better or suitable. For example, I think that I need to adjust the pressure in my tires of my car. It's a verb. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> okay. To adjust is a verb. Means is the action to change something, especially to make it more suitable with. More, more better, for example, for example, I, I, I need better, better, excuse me. I need to adjust the pressure in my tires of my car. I agree. I agree. Adjust, yes. I agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Everybody With the examples that you, you said, I agree. Juan Francisco, do you agree or do you disagree? But this is fair. Okay. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Take a guess. Just guess. Is it true? Is it? Do you agree? Is it? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you think? No pierde nada. I agree, teacher. <laughs> you agree. Okay. All right. Okay, Irene, was it right or was it wrong? 
I did, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Exactly. So to adjust uh, means to, um, yes, um, make sure that something is in the correct way as it should be. Okay. So um, something is supposed to be a certain way. And if you adjust, it means that you move something, you make a change to it so that it, it becomes right again. Okay. Okay, good. Suitable. Suitable. Yes, suitable is like apt. Okay, thank you, Warner. Good evening. Um, Good evening. And, and the word that is uh, Titan is false or truth uh, to become titans or to make something become titan firmer or less easy to move. For example, tighten the straps so they don't roof. I agree. I think it's true. <laughs> repeat, repeat, please. Tighten. Tighten. What is the word? Tighten. Please repeat again the, 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 ah, the repeat. Okay. 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 Tighten. Uh, to become tightened or to make something become tightened firmer or less easy to move. For example, tighten the straps so they don't roll. And then we, I think you're saying the truth. <laughs> they believe you, Warner. I, I agree. <laughs> I buy, I think it's a correct. Warner? Yes, teacher. Yes. Like the pantyhose. Yes, correct. It's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. A pantyhose? No, no, it's false. <laughs> wow. It's tight, tight like. Oh, tights. Yeah, but that's different. Um, yes, tight, it's different. Uh -huh. so, so is it true or false, Warner? Warner, your, your microphone's off. Oh, okay, it's true, teacher. Yes, it's true, exactly. So tighten means to make something like more tight, right? Valga um, la redundancia, right? Something that's tighter. Tight is some, so if something is like loose, right? Loose, like um, there's a lot of space. And so tighten means that you're going to make it the space smaller. So as Warner says, that it's not easy to move, okay? Like uh, when you tighten, um, let's say a cap, right? From, let's say a water bottle, okay? You have a water bottle, you have a cap, you screw the, you unsc unscrew the cap and you drink the water. When you finish drinking the water, then you put the cap on and you start to tighten the cap to make sure that the water doesn't come out. Because if, if it's not tight, then the water is gonna come out and you're gonna have a big mess. So what you make sure you do this, make sure that it's not easy to move. Okay? It's the action, teacher. Yes, it's the action, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Let's move on to... Juan Francisco. Okay. Um, and I think the word is it's mm -hmm. true. It's true. Um, is this a small piece of metal? Metal long. Um, then with a uh, head out on one side and um, a point on the other. You said to nail 
nineteen hands in from from it or for ornamental purpose. I agree. Can you repeat it, I agree uh, Francisco, too. please? Okay. It's, uh, the word is a screw. Uh, it's uh, a small piece of metal long thing with a hair, hair on one side and point on the other use it to nail thin hunting from it or for ornamental purpose. I agree. I agree too. Sure. Everybody agrees? Irvin, do you agree? Yes, it is. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Juan Francisco, is it right? No, teacher, it's false. It's false. And the, yes, the definition, the real definition is a short, a slender, sharp pointing metal pin with a racing calical switch running around in a, a slotted kit. Use it to join pin together by pain rotated so that it's pierced wood or other material and it's held thinly or tightly in place. In place. When I was looking at the bird to screw, I found the, the, the definition of a screw and it was the first one that you say, the thin pointed piece of metal with a raised edge twisting round along its length in a flat tab with a cat in it. That is the one that you say, right? Yes. Um, the definition I use for para confundirlo is uh, the claw. The, the claw. Ah. <laughs> for a nail. Yes, oh, okay. a nail. Yeah, because it sounded to me that it was right as well. But um, yeah, so a screw is similar to a nail, similar, and but it's different. It, it's similar in the sense that it puts two pieces together, right? But it's different in the sense that a nail, you do it with a hammer, right? It's just a piece of, of metal that you just with a hammer, you and until it comes in. Whereas a screw, you have to use valga la redundancia, a screw um, uh, to be able to do this, right? And go into the wood. Normally it's, it's into the wood or into a metal piece to be able to hold two pieces together. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Juan Francisco. All right. And I think that was everybody, right? Why alguien que se me ha quedado que le mande? Que le mande palabrita. No, right? Okay, all right, very good guys, excellent. Okay, so now that you guys know the definitions of these words, this should be a piece of cake, okay? I'm going to show you this. And what I want you guys to do is, looking at this vocabulary, I want you to match match the meaning of these words. So you're gonna say which which is the definition of mix, definition of quality control, filter, capping, labeling, and packaging. So let's do that individually. Actually, no, 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 hold on. No, let's do something. Let's go to the breakout rooms. I'll get you guys to do this in pairs, okay? And I'm gonna give you five minutes because I don't think it, I don't think it's gonna even take you five minutes. I think it's probably gonna take you like four. So I'll give you guys four minutes to do this, okay? Because we we already seen the the, the definition, so this debería ser así rapidín. Okay, so let's see this right now.
But I don't know. Uh, the conveyor belt takes the bottles. Mm -hmm. The machine where the labels with the ingredients with ingredients in the brown name is stuck on them. Packing? What do you think? Mm -hmm. let, me, let me read all of them first. The bottles are moved to another machine that puts a mm -hmm. cup on every bottle. That's copying, right? All the raw materials are powered in batch and mix. I said mix. And mix. The, bottles are, okay. mm -hmm. the bottles are put into boxes and ready to be sent to store. That's packing. packing. A sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure meets specifications. That's quality control. Did you do it? <laughs> no. Before? Did you do it before? Okay, packing, packing. And all the wrong materials are to. This is uh, uh, Andres. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. okay. And uh, the number one meets. Mix. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, sir. All the raw materials are poured in a batch and mixed. Quality control may be the last answer. A sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets specifications. Yes, okay. Number three. Yeah, number three. Okay. Next, the conveyor belt takes the bottle to the machine where it labels and uh, label. Labeling. Yes. Labeling. And the bottles are moved to another machine that puts a cup on happening. Capping. Yes. Or, yeah. Are you guys finished? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay, good. All right. See you guys in the main room. See you. And the, eh. and the packing is the, the bottle are put. Packing is the bottle. Okay. It's, it's packing. Yeah. The packing, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You guys finished? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, guys, let's check the answers. Um, okay, can you all see this? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so you tell me what you think are the correct answers. In the first one we have, um, after the batch is approved, the shampoo is poured into the right amount 
in the right amount into the empty bottles. What is that? Number three. Number three. Filter. Very good. Filter. Excellent. Okay. Very good. The conveyor belt takes the bottles to the machine where the labels with ingredients and the brand name is stuck on them. Number five. Number five. Labeling. Number five. Very Number good. Five. Labeling. Very good. The bottles are moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle and twists them to tight. Number four. Number four. Number four. 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 I was right. I was I was right with my my meaning teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, there are many different. Some words may have more than one meaning. Yes, but you yes, you're right. Num next one. All the raw materials are poured into a batch and mixed. Number one mix. Number one mix. Very good. Like pop music. The bottles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores. Number six. Okay. Very good. And a sample is sent to the be analyzed to ensure it meets specifications. This is the most difficult one. Number two, quality, quality control. control. Very good. Number two, quality control. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two, quality control. Very good. All right, you guys got it correct? Yes. yes. Yay, very good, guys. Excellent. All right. Okay, now I'm going to ask you guys to do this one. Okay, next vocabulary. You're going to match definitions and the vocabulary. We'll, we'll, um, we'll do this one as a class. Okay, because of time. So let's do this one together. Well, 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 I'll give you guys like a few minutes to do it. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we ready? Yes. Anybody need more time? No? Okay, let's do it together then. To move an object slightly so that it is in the right place for its, for its, or sorry, to the right place or it fits better. Number four, I think it's just. Tighten. Or tight. So that's number? Four. I know, I'm diving. Adjust. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Adjust. 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 Number four. Very good, it's number four. Good. To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be, it cannot be turned anymore. Number three. number three, tighten. A screw. Yes, very good, tighten. Or tighten. Uh... Mm -hmm. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges. Number, 
together. Number one. one. Number one. Well, well. One, well. one, number one. One, 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 boys. Okay. A pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on, on it's called, is on it called thread. Instead of um, hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. Number five, five. a screw. Screw. A screw. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. And number five, two, sorry, not five, sorry. Next, mm -hmm. to attach one surface to another using a screw. Number two. Number two. Number two, Number two. very good. Screw or two screw. There you go. Very good, guys. Bravo. Questions about this? Yes, teacher. What is the difference between the number two and the number five? Uh, this one is the verb, and this one is the noun. OK. Verb. Verb. And noun. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Okay. All right. Um, let's clear that. Okay. Um, we are uh, because of time. I'm going to skip this for a moment. We're going to do this later. We're going to go to the indirect questions with yes or no questions. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to use indirect questions when we want to be polite. So normally, uh, if we want to make a question, we just go directly for the question. Say, for example, um, I don't know. Do you work? Okay. Um, or we can say, are you tired? So that's directly. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. But there are certain words, uh, sorry, certain questions that if you ask them directly, they may sound rude. To give you an example, what happens if I ask you, I don't know. Yvonne, how much do you weigh? Are, do you feel comfortable answering that question? Yvonne? Mm. Would, would you feel comfortable if I just, out of like just me being the teacher asked you that question? I'm not, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not a, uh, a doctor or anything. So would you be comfortable if I ask you that question, how much do you weigh? Would you be comfortable? Yes. Yes? So, no, se sentiría cómoda si yo le pregunto, ¿cuánto, cuánto, cuánto pesa? Um, oh. No, no, you don't have to answer. You don't have to answer. I just want to know. Would you feel comfortable? Do you think that's okay? Or yes. do, you feel, do you feel a little uncomfortable? Yes, for me it's not problem. No problem. Okay, so you mm -hmm. can go ahead and, and, and tell people your way. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. What about Heidi? Do you feel comfortable telling people your weight? Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, would you tell your weight to somebody that you met the first day? Depending on the contest. <laughs> on the contest, okay, but just X persona. So it doesn't matter, just somebody that you met for the first time. If they started asking you, so how much do you weigh? Would, it, would you feel comfortable or you would say like, that's weird. Why are they asking me that? It depends on the context. Suppose we are waiting for an appointment with a nutritionist or something. It would right. be not the question. But I'm just talking about in general, 
Like in somebody, general? Yeah, persona X. I would mind being. Really? Okay, so, so I meet you for the first time, Heidi, and I start asking you questions, personal questions like that. It's okay? Mm. I haven't seen you before, and, and suddenly you ask me my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first day that I meet you. Maybe not. Probably not, right? Okay, so... Uh, what about um, Luis? Would you feel comfortable if I asked you, first time I meet you, I don't know you, and it's the first day and I ask you, um, so who lives in your house? No, teacher. No, right? Nothing. No. You want to feel very comfortable, right? You're like, oh, why are they asking me this, right? Okay. Um, Urban, if I, if first day I meet you, well, actually, and it doesn't even matter if, if it's the first day I meet you, would, it, would you feel comfortable if I asked you, how much do you earn? Uh, <clears throat> so, so you don't have to answer, but I just want to know, would you feel comfortable if I asked you that question? No, for me, no problem. Really? I never say the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I am a businessman. Oh, the okay. businessman never say the truth. Never say, never say the truth. Okay, okay. okay. Only, when a businessman <laughs> only have the smile, I say, oh, okay, fantastic, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Never say the truth. The first uh, ruler okay. you have a business. Okay, okay. For me, no problem. <laughs> okay, all right. And, and if you are angry, you will lose in the business. Uh huh. Okay. 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 All right. But but the the fact that you're telling me something that it's not true tells me that you're not comfortable answering that question, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm illustrating with this is that there are certain questions that it's not polite to ask directly. Okay. It's not polite. I I, I you know you can't really go up to a person that you've met for the first time and ask them questions about you know who lives in their home, you know how much they earn, how much they weigh. It's not polite. So, but sometimes we need to ask these questions. Like for example, Heidi mentioned if we're if we're going to a nutritionist, they would have to ask us how much we weigh, right? Um, even if it's the first time that they meet us, right? So there are certain questions that we need to ask, but we want to make it in a polite way so the person doesn't feel uncomfortable. In that case, we use indirect questions. How do you use indirect question? Well, the first thing we do with asking indirect questions are we have a, a question... So I better said, yeah, let's say a question beginning, okay? And like words like, I wonder, um, I'd like to know, would you mind telling us, could you find out? So those are beginning of question words, okay? So I wonder is like saying, me pregunto, right? I'd like to know, me gustaría saber. Would you mind telling us? Le importaría decirnos? Would you, um, could you find out? Podría eh, averiguar, right? So when you say that, even in Spanish, you know that it's very polite. So then all of a sudden, the person doesn't feel so like attacked because you're being much more polite. What happens after we use the beginning of the question words? we use the word if. This is only when it's yes or no questions, like it says here, yes or no. So if it's yes or no questions, after that, we're gonna be using if. I wonder if, I'd like to know if, would you mind telling us if? Um, Craig, could you find out if? Okay, all right. After that, we're going to be using the, the subject, 
right? So we can say you, the quality controls um, step, um, the cost to run a second, a second quality control, the production manager. Okay? So that's going to be the subject. Okay. After that, we're going to be using um, the verb. Okay. So we say received, right? Should be repeated. Will go and is. Okay. That's the verb. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like when you say, Do you mind if I call you? I don't know. Right. Exactly. That's exactly how it is. Okay. And then after that, we use the complement, right? So once product is finished, yeah. a copy of the analysis for the production process, very high, around. Okay. So that's how we create um, yes or no indirect questions when you want to be polite. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to quickly write this down. We start with the um, indirect question beginning. Um, plus if plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement. Okay. All right. Now, Sometimes it could finish with a period and sometimes it can finish with a question mark. Ah, so this is different because with direct questions, we always finish with a question mark. But if you notice in these ones, they don't finish with a question mark. Yeah? Like, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process there's no question mark. And this one also, I'd like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished, no question mark, there's a period there. But these ones do have a question mark. So you can use either one. Now the question is, do you know why, why in one we use a period and the other one we use a question mark? Do you know why? No. It's, it it um, depends on the indirect question beginning. So depending on this, like, is it going to be a question or not? I wonder, okay? Uh, so if it's a phrase, if it's just a phrase, me pregunto tal cosa, right? It's not really a question. You're just, you're just saying, you're just stating a fact. It simplemente está diciendo, esto es lo que me pregunto, right? Or I'd like to know. You're not actually asking a question. You're just saying, me gustaría saber tal cosa, right? So you're not really asking a question. You're just stating a, a, something that is true, yeah? Whereas here, would you mind telling us Le importaría decirnos, right there from the beginning, you know it's a question, right? Okay, uh, we're introducing the segment of a question. Could you find out, podría averiguar, right? So right there, you have a question. Here, you're just stating a fact. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
So, si, si simplemente estamos diciendo, esto es lo que me pregunto, esto es lo que yo quisiera saber, then it's just going to be a period. But if you're actually asking someone to do something, then you're going to be ask, asking with, a, with the ending with a, with a question mark. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we're going to finish there and I'm going to ask you guys for homework to work on, um, let me clear this. You're gonna work on this, these exercises here. Oops, right here. Can you tell me blah, 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 okay? I'd like to know, do you know, I'd like, I'd like to find out, do you have any idea? I was wondering, so starting with this, I want you to make questions, indirect questions. Okay, sounds okay. good? Okay. Okay, all right guys, so that's gonna be all for this, this day and um, yeah, for this Friday. And I'm just gonna quickly take attendance as quickly as possible. Okay, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Claudia. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Irvin. Present teacher. Heidi. Present teacher. Uh, Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Jose Montes. Jose uh, Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Ronald. Present teacher. Wendy. Uh, Present. Uh, okay, Warner. Present teacher. Uh, and Yvonne. Present. Okay, very good. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, solo me quedaría entonces con Wendy. Okay, so that's it, guys. Take care. Uh, enjoy Thank your you. weekend, okay? Thank you. Thank you. The same to you. Bye-bye. 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 Teacher, ¿y los porcentajes de asistencia los va a enviar? Sí, se los voy a, man voy a mandarles un mensaje por WhatsApp. Okay, gracias. Adiós. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Uh huh. I can uh, stay in the more time because my my son wait for me for the sleep. In okay, 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 no problem, no problem. Sorry, uh, teach. But uh, come on. Um, do you if you have any questions, so Wendy, um, you can write to me in the um, the WhatsApp, right? So you can. Uh, o sea, no, no tiene que esperar sí, para estas sesiones. Si usted quiere, con gusto eh, me escribe ahí en, en, que sea en el grupo de WhatsApp o usted ya sabe, ¿verdad? También que me ha escrito en el pasado ahí eh, un mensajito personal. Sí, dicha, porque sí tengo, tengo duda con, con el, el, el tema anterior, porque sí tenía, pero me, me descon, según yo me tocaba mañana, me tocaba el lunes. Porque me acuerdo que pasó Natalia, pero después creo que sigue Ronald y de ahora me tocaba a mí. Entonces yo perdí la noción que me tocaba a mí ahora. Entonces ah. no, no nos, to, nos tornamos un día cada uno para siempre hacer las oraciones y todo con okay. él. Uh -huh. Entonces, te, no sé si, yo creo que para la próxima que hay ese que no se queda, me puedo quedar yo. Sí, eso es lo que le iba a decir. Entonces hagamos eso cuando hay algo porque, que, que ya sea porque no asistió a clase, ¿verdad? O no se puede quedar, entonces la metemos a usted ahí. Ajá, sí, porque si no necesito que, que me con el tema anterior, porque si me quedaron una, estamos empezando a ver. 
Ok, está bueno, no hay problema. Entonces, así, así vamos a hacer. ¿Verdad? Muchas gracias, teacher. Okay, Está siempre no, muy no, linda. Gracias, no, gracias. Un gusto, Wendy. Aquí estamos para ayudarle. Vaya, pues, pase buenas noches. Buenas noches. Cuídese. Gracias. Feliz fin de semana. Gracias, Ivo. Gracias. Muchas gracias.